As you can see, it stopped. All right, I'm back. Part two. We're back. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That, those were some nasty ass shots. Look, go for the head. What is this, Adventures Endgame or something? You should have gone for the head. <laughs> my voice is terrible. I don't know why, but I, my throat is so sore. <laughs> Jesus. I've been drinking water, but it doesn't help for shit. Actually, I should get something after this round. I'm just gonna get, like, a quick something. Just to get some medicine for my throat or something. Like, getting a, having a sore throat while playing is not a good thing. So, yeah. I should probably... After this, I'm just gonna mute myself. And then come back and then unmute myself. And then... And then continue playing. Wait, 33 left. Should be fine. Oh god. Oh, I just realized all my armor is gone. That is definitely not good. Especially when there's only... Especially when there's... 30 zombies, Zed's are in. Jesus, I keep getting it wrong. Can you just remind me in the comments? Oh, there's another one. Up, 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 up. You guys see my character? Like, I don't know why, but I've been getting so many fall pressures. Like, I just want to talk about the, the fact that fall pressure skins are, I think, one of the most coolest skins in the game. But in the new update, they've announced, like, these the old pressure skins, like the ones you can get on the PC version. I don't know how you can get them, or they're prestigeable, or from crates. But I hope they're available in like, the normal golden crates, because I really want those. Those are epic. Like, those are really fucking cool, but... If it requires like, the, the sideshow tickets, I feel like I'm gonna be out of luck, because... It doesn't matter how many games you play, they're still hard to get. Like, and you have to get five of them as well, which is not a lot, but considering what kind of games you play, you're not gonna guarantee always play four waves because most people play online. So, it's very disappointing. For me, at least. I mean, for some people, it might not be, like, bad. Maybe they think it's good, but bad for both people. For me, it's definitely not, not enough. Especially considering how many waves I'm doing. There should be like a system where they can get like, depends on how many waves they can get like higher amounts of price. So let's say someone face if finishes 10 waves on endless or gets the 10 waves, they have like a chance to win like a like a amount of prizes or like an array of prizes that get into the common region. Then if you go to 15, maybe like uncommon or like when you go to 20, rare and then of course higher, higher, higher. You know what I mean? So every or, oh my god, am I almost... Jesus! I didn't even check my health. That's how focused I am on talking right now. So you, have, you have to kind of like be silent at some point, but I don't want to be. I want to talk to you guys. And it, beautiful, all lined up perfectly. There you go. Last zombie is... Oh, oh this guy's a robot. Right, I'm going to go to the trader, get all my stuff, and I'm going to... Mute myself and get something for my throat because it's very hurting. Oh, sorry about that. No, of course not. All right, all righty, 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 righty. There you go. Uh, reload everything. All right, so I'll be back in a few seconds. Alright, back. Alright, I got a little bit of a throat candy. It's, it tastes like honey. It's very nice. It's a temporary solution because we gotta keep going here. Not that I wanted to, I mean, clearly there's 
So many other things I could do, but when Yes, it can. Yes, it definitely can, Mr. Patriarch. See, that's what I mean. It's funny to see how, like, the Patriarch shifts in attitude. Like, first he was like, oh, yeah, just die. And now he's just like, seriously, just fucking die. It's very funny. Especially when when your round 100 comes around. He says, I've, I, I've got told that he starts to say really funny shit. Like, I think one f one thing I've heard from somebody is, like, a, like there was a sentence he said. He's like, no, just put the pizza over there. No, on that table. So, look, that kind of stuff. So that's really funny. If I can even get to around round, round 100 this time, or even attempt it. Hmm, very good throw candy actually. Very sour. Oh god! Always jump when a husk is shooting, like a fireball. Just jump over it. Most people just go out of the way. Just jump over it because then you stay in the same place same amount of accuracy you don't have to move just jump yeah let's can we just talk about the beauty of this new map it's insane it's a very large map but like i think the last ones are well small compared to the other ones but this is just fucking massive it's insane as well. Look at the attention to detail that's been done here. I mean, Tripwire is basically like gaming heaven if you think about it. They make free content and these amazing games. And Killing Floor was like, I think, the first game that really caught people's eyes. It was not even intended to be like popular or like a very renowned game, but it just people really liked it so. Now with Killing Floor 2, they're making it even better. I mean, it clearly shows. I mean, look at the amount of things to do. You have Objective Endless, you have weekly updates. They've been really, really pushing it, if you think about it. They've put like hours of effort to make this game like perfect, and it, it really is, if you think about it. With this death metal in the background, all the ways you can fire, all the details, all the sounds, the creations. It's a very cool game, and it's fairly affordable as well. So I can highly recommend you buy it. If you're planning to buy a zombie shooting game that's fun. And can and can last you many, many hours. I mean, you can play this for a day. I've been playing it for two years now, and... I've never stopped playing it. It's probably... It's gonna remain on my PS4. It's like... Like a... Like something that's just gonna stay there forever. While we're on the topic of this game, let's just talk about how to do certain things. I mean, I've already told a few, like how to jump over the hustings. One of the funniest, I still remember my, uh, I bought, I think I got this game in 2017 March, March. And I think the first update I experienced was the, the remastering of the Tragic Kingdom, because I thought there was not a Killing Floor 1. I mean, it had to, but I didn't really play Killing Floor 1. I never played it. When I played this game, I kind of looked what Killing Floor 1 was, and it was kind of fun. Uh, apparently, Charger Kingdom was like a classic from Killing Floor 1. So when they brought it in Killing Floor 2, and then months later I found out, that was very cool. Like, that already, that already said something about the game. Like, the game desirers love to bring nostalgia back, and I think, if any game that's perfect, if any game brings that soldier back, they're already doing a great job. Especially with um, the new Modern Warfare that's coming out right now. I mean, all the original cast members are back in it. Kind of like that. If you get nostalgia in a game, I think you're already doing a great job. If you think about it, you're bringing people's memories back, and they're gonna, the old people that used to play, are gonna buy it again. But also, that ones are new to it. So you're thinking about it, you're getting double the, the amount of players. Imagine killing Floor 3. How about that? You think when people would buy it? I would. Oh, the siren bite <laughs> The flesh bone just knocked the siren over it. Dumbass. Bam, 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 bam. Got, yeah, just chew all you want. I've got enough bullets for all of you motherfuckers. I 
ba 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 and yeet. Oh, that was poorly thrown. Jesus. I wanted to get on the siren, not beside him. I just punch it. Fuck you. Come on. There you go. Right in the fucking head as well. Shut up. You have yeet your last haul. Bitch. Okay. Fuck off. There you go. There's also a sweet spot where you can hit them right in the head and they insta-kill it. Or you can insta-kill like a certain amount of Zeds. Beautiful. Hold off and bye 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 Jesus. The throne's feeling better. I like how he's bragging about every single detail. I mean, I just killed like eight, 48 fucking Zeds. And he's still. <laughs> Come on! Mm-hmm. What a ready old fucking day. 500 Magnums. Easily doable, fam. Oh, depends on where they spawn. Yeah. <laughs> they had us in the first half, not gonna lie. Oh yeah. A yee! Whoa, where did the fuck did you came from? Beautiful, look at the kills I'm making here. Headshot, headshot. Oh, that was one headshot though. Keep making headshot. You see, I'm using the revolvers now because there's a lot of them. Doesn't matter if there's a lot of s small Zeds or like scrapes or flesh, or like like the slashes or the sirens. If there's many flash bounds around, just keep using the revolvers because you're gonna need them. It is. I mean, you saw. Previously, you could take down a uh, Scrake with or a Flesh Bomb with Beagles, but with the Revolvers, it's easier. I can actually show you, maybe, if it's possible. Let's just kill this Siren. Alright, I'm gonna show you how I how you can kill one easily. So you just. There you go. It's possible, but it's not as easy with the Revolvers. With the Revolvers, you don't have to shoot as much times as the Beagles. Show. Oh look, they're all. There you go. Let me kill you again. Shit, I forgot to load my 9mm pistols. 65 zombies left. I mean, Z. I keep forgetting it. Just mind it. I'm gonna forget it every time I try to say it. The word Z. I mean, that's not the first thing that comes to mind when you think of a game where you shoot the undead. Let's be honest here. Fuck. See, long shot. Oh, that was a beautiful long shot. This one is as well. Oh, why did I throw a Molotov? Idiot me. Ooh, there you go. Bitch. Out the. Out my fucking way. Time to get some ammo. Legit, my revolvers are empty. There we go. I'm just gonna use the eagles. Oh, I'm gonna time to heal. I only have 10 shield left. Yes, you see something and it's on the fucking right. Come on, there you go. <laughs> Did you just make a flip? Oh yeah. That's not good. Oh, I think I have enough bullets for that to kill down a flick band. There you go. There we go. Headshot, you fuck! Jesus. 
please let me find armor or armor. Actually, both. I'm running out of ammo on my my 500 magnums. I need to get that ammo. Oh my god, that is. Oh god, I thought I was almost cornered there. You saw that shit? Just kill them. There you go, that's easy enough. There you go. So it's handy to switch from firing positions as well. Just go from long range to short range. Also, if you can't see anything, you just clip the flashlight. Just do that. I mean. <laughs> That was by accident. I mean, I have a hundred thousand dosh more actually, but I'm not gonna count the real amount here because I'm busy. Oh, that was perfect. That was an insane shot. Wait, let me see if I can. Oh, it's nothing to one shot, so. I thought there was a blow to there, but it wasn't. Yes! Five left. Come on. We could do this all day. You know what? Let's make a deal. We'll make it to round 80 and then I'll stop. Or if this last recording goes off. So, I think it was nice playing. I'm gonna leave it here. I'll tell you in the sub or in the feed. In the you know what? I'll tell you in the description of which round I got. I mean, I hope you guys will be happy with the results. Maybe round 100. Who knows? So yeah, uh, thanks for watching the video, please like if you do, and subscribe, and share. I mean, it's not the most best video, but you can always give it a shot, so very thankful that you guys are watching this, and I'll see you later.